What's up guys, this is BC Builds, this is Andy here, um, someone was asking me about it, I forget who it is, so sorry, but um, I'm going to show you a review on the other knockoffs that I have, um, all of these were pretty cheap, um, honestly, you never know, um, I'm really not a big fan of most knockoffs, because most of them don't work for shit, well at least out of the box, they need at least a, a few mods or you know, tweaks to get them to run correctly. So I'm gonna go through and show you a few of them. Um, right off the bat, I'm gonna run all of them at nine volts, um, just because I don't feel like changing it. Uh, first one, which you guys I think have already seen, I made a video, which is, I guess like a swash drive type jackhammer. Well, let me tighten it up. The vice on it, it's gonna make noise. Sorry. Which is this one, um, I'm gonna give it a rating, and this is a zero out of 10. This thing fucking sucks. It heats up, you know, it works for like the first 20 minutes, it works nice. And this has got a ABAC 12 bearing in it now in a ball bearing motor, an American made ball bearing motor. But there's really no way to adjust the stroke on this to, um, to get it fast enough to be a liner. Um, the stroke is just way too long. You know, the faster it goes, uh, the more inertia there is and the more this needle bar sways up and down. Um, maybe it's just mine, but this was 10 bucks and it was, I don't use it at all now. On to the next, which is a knockoff Stigma Prodigy. Um, this isn't the best knockoff there is, it's a zinc alloy frame, it is CNC, but it's not aluminum, so it's light, lighter than any coil machine, but it's not as light as a real one. Um, the motor's kinda okay, the problem with this is, uh, the plastic piece on the inside, you can see it's black, it's supposed to be white, the white is a better polymer plastic. Uh, everything else is pretty nice on this, except for it did not come with the spring, the spring tensioner in it. It has a spring tensioner, there was just no spring, so I had to add one in. Let me plug it in. And I'll run it. And you can see it bogs down correctly, and you can change it. I'm not going to because I only have one hand. Um, problem with this is it's quite loud. Um, but I ordered new Swiss motor for it, which is good. Um, besides that, besides the motor and the fact that it didn't come with the spring, it actually works well. Uh, with the spring I put in it, the give adjustment works really well. It bogs down correctly, gives a real coil type. Um, this piece in the front is all metal, except for the actual little circle uh, thing that the spring, uh, the needle rolls on is plastic. I don't like that. All right. Um, the next one is a knockoff stealth. Oh, by the way, I got that for four dollars, free shipping, and it came in like four days. I bid it. Knockoff stealth, which I like a lot, which has got a long stroke on it. Um, probably about three and a half, four millimeters. It's pretty quiet, no give. Um, this is the original motor in it. Um, it was a stealth motor that I had put in. Um, and that burnt out. And this is the original, um, it's actually made by a Japanese company. Um, and it's lasted quite this time, and I use this for all my color work, color packing. Now, great buy, it was 10 bucks. Really awesome. Close to the side, okay. Um, hold on one second, I just gotta switch up clip cords and RCA now. Well, these aren't RCA, but, and then this is the knockoff Dragonfly, which was like 13 bucks, and this is one of the nicest knockoffs I've got. Super quiet. Um, the give is all the way down, so it hits really hard right now. It's set as a liner, really short stroke, like two and a half millimeters, but it is easy. I'm doing it off camera. Shit. Sorry guys. Now it bogs. Probably about a three and a half millimeter stroke now. This, the only problem I had with this was the motor, and I've since swapped it out for a Swiss motor. A cheap Swiss motor. This is one of the quietest ones I have. Runs beautifully. 
um, for a knockoff. This I actually use this all the time. This one is pretty nice. You got to be careful buying these dragonflies because some will come with plastic bodies. And you know, overall, I just did my research and looked, and everything on this is nice. Um, the screw on this is metal. Uh, the rest of it's plastic, but the ball rolls pretty nice. It's not a bearing like it should be. Um, the tube vise is nice, it aligns correctly, uh, the give, it could use a new give spring in it because it doesn't adjust very well, but overall it's a good buy for like 13 bucks and then another 30 bucks for the motor. Alright, I'm going to switch, knockoff swash drive whip, which technically is a really simple technology and I thought they'd be able to master it pretty well. Um, Overall, the construction of it's pretty nice and the motor's pretty nice, except for the actual needle bar, the flex, it flexes too much. As you guys can see, this is the more flexible needle bar. It doesn't come with the thicker one. It's got the notch in it. Um, and because of that, this has got a really long stroke on it. But it's really good for soft shading, I gotta say, for a knockoff. It's got a lot of give, and this is the strongest little hit. Then I'll back it off. You can see the strokes longer. That was 13 bucks as well. Not a bad buy. I don't really use it too much. Got a little long stroke for me. But it works. And that's it for the knockoffs. Um, so arranging from the best to the worst would probably be this one's the best because it was modded. So is this one. Um, just a few stupid mods. This one's the best. Then this one. Um, then the Prodigy, which works really well, it's just too loud for me. Then the Swash Drive, and then the Jackhammer. Um, don't buy this one. If you like long stroke, you can buy this one. I would say buy any of these three. Um, probably your best bet is this because it comes with the stroke extenders on it, so you can adjust that. Um, and usually these ones come in pretty high quality. Maybe it'll be missing the spring in there, but you can go buy one at Home Depot. I bought a whole bag for like $2. And then what I'm going to show you now is not a knockoff. It's one of my good rotaries, I'm going to put this down, that I brought home, which I think I told you guys about in the last video. And I haven't seen very many reviews on this. This is a hummingbird rotary. It's a very affordable rotary, but this thing is probably my nicest one. Um, I have a legit Stealth and Stealth 2 and a legit Swash Drive and then this. Um, for knockoff or not knockoff wise those are all knockoffs that this is real um it's not super expensive this is about 180 bucks depending where you buy it there is knockoff versions of this that go for 120 bucks so be careful um this is the second gen hummingbird uh but i gotta say this is probably my favorite machine the thing weighs absolutely nothing it's super light super strong um the needle bar uh, tensioner is actually a bearing that's a bearing with o-rings on it it's all metal um it's a swiss motor i'm not sure what brand but it is a swiss motor and the thing does not heat up at all the give it's really easy and really quick to change the give in this right now it's set as a liner hits hard you know it's not as quiet as i'd like it to be um it probably needs to be lubed up again i use this this is uh, my primary liner now, well that and my other coil machine, um, but I gotta say, if you don't want to spend a ton of money on a rotary, but don't want to buy a knockoff, buy one of these, you can get a legit one for about 150 bucks, and this thing is worth its weight in gold, I've seen some bad reviews on this on the internet, but it's from people that have never used them, um, I gotta say, for the money, pound for pound, or dollar per dollar, this is the best machine I own by far. The motor is super strong. Um, it's a really nice Swiss motor. It's a really nice constructed frame. Um, the tensioning system, the give system works amazingly. Um, all you got to do is let it out and you get a longer stroke and a softer hit. Um, this thing, I run it at about 8.5 volts. To shade and to line, it's probably about 9 to 9.2. And that's the stroke on it. You can kind of see it. What it's a little longer than what I would use on a coil machine, but it keeps the speeds correct, so it works well. Um, this is one of the best machines I've ever used. Maybe it won't hold up to other rotaries, but 
you know, like $600 ones, but for the money, you can't beat it. If you guys want to get a nice rotary at an entry level price, I would say buy this. I'm actually going to save up and get another one of these. But it's really nice. To change it from a shader to a liner, all you've got to do is screw that uh, thing to the right, and then to uh, from a liner to a shader to the left. It's that simple. Change out the tubing needle. You could use this in your whole tattoo. It's just amazing. See, the motor does not bog down. Um, it is a freaking amazing machine. So if you see bad reviews on this, a hummingbird, then someone got a knockoff version or they're just, they've never used one because this really is an amazing piece of engineering. Uh, it kind of rips off the technology from ink machines. They're uh, dragonfly, um, sort of. It's the same type of frame, except for you can take the motor off of this one, which comes from Stigma. But for 100 and, you know, say 200 bucks, you can't beat it. Only thing I say I don't like about this is it's got RCA. It's just because I use, like on this one, I convert everything to phono jack, and I just really don't want to start tearing into this one because it's my favorite. So I still use RCA on this. But like I said, if you guys want an affordable rotary, buy one of these. Um, I also have a Diablo Cami, and this is equivalent to that, but a hundred bucks cheaper. I actually think this is a little nicer. Um, it's got a nicer motor. You can, the Diablo Swiss is nicer than this, but it's also a 200 or almost 400 for the Swiss. The Diablo Cami is 250. This is 150 to 200. That's it, guys.